Today we will cover, the Go ET 15000 SP installation. Thank you for tuning in. Let's open out Go ET 15000 SP and see what is inside. A box of screen make film, which we will show you how to load on step number 6. A CD that contains the printer driver. The warranty card. You will also find, the startup guide and an envelope that outlines what you are watching in this video. There are also ink bottles. Remember we have two printer models, ET15000DS, 13 by 19 inches, and the T3170XSP, 24 inches wide. On the ET15000SP, you will receive three 70ml screen mate ink bottles and two 140ml bottles. On the T3170XSP, you will receive four 140ml bottles of screen mate ink. In the box you will also find the power cable. Remember, communications cable is sold separately. Take your printer out, remove the plastic wrapping, and all protective material from the product. Let's install the inks now. Important! The unit needs to be off. Remove the packaging bag, of the ink bottles. You can use a pair of scissors to cut the bag. Once the bottles are out, Hold the bottle upright, and slowly turn the entire bottle cap to remove it. You will notice there is a protective seal on the bottle. Gently, remove the seal. Once done, put the entire bottle cap back on the bottle and slowly turning the cap until it is tightly secured. Repeat the same steps for the remaining colors. Open the printer's tank cover, and the tank caps. Grab the ink bottle, hold it upright, and remove the top part of the cap. Insert the ink bottle, into its designated filling port. Leave the bottle upside down, and let gravity take over. When the ink tank is full, remove the ink bottle and close the tank cap. Do this with all the remaining ink tanks. Note that all the tanks need to be filled with screen made ink. Connect the power cord to the back of the product, and to an electrical outlet. Raise the control panel, then press the power button to turn on the product. Select your language, country, and time settings. When done, press and hold the help key for 3 to 5 seconds, it will start the initialization process. To confirm the tanks are filled with ink, press done. Ink charging takes approximately 10 minutes. Be sure, to not unplug, turn off, do not raise the scanner unit, and do not load the paper, while the product is charging, or you will waste ink. A message will appear on the screen when ink charging is finished. Press, to adjustment. Select, adjust. It is recommended for you to print a nozzle check to make sure all ink lines are filled correctly in the printer. Once printed, verify all the nozzles printed correctly. The printer is ready and we will install the driver in the next step. 
insert the CD which came with your printer into your computer. If you misplaced it or don't have access to insert a CD into your computer, don't worry, you can download the driver by simply visiting Epson's official website and searching your printer model. Once you have located the printer page, click Support. Select Download, then click Drivers and download the printer driver by following the directions. Once installed, a software selection box will appear on your screen. Deselect all the options except for Epson drivers and utilities. Click Install. The download process will begin, it will take about 5 to 7 minutes. When finished, click Next. Confirm you have filled the ink tanks by clicking on the checkbox. Click Next, and then select the connection type. In this video, we will show you how to connect with a wireless connection. If you wish to directly connect via USB, you need to purchase a cable. Please note this item is not included in your purchase. Sold separately. Select your connection and click Next. Once the Wi-Fi connection is selected, click Next. This printer is brand new. If requested, select Setup Printer for the first time, then click Next. For Wi-Fi network setup method do not use Auto Connect. Select using the control panel option, click Next. Now let's set up your SSID name and password. The Wi-Fi setup wizard will help you store your setup process. Now locate your printer's control panel and press the home key. Tab on the Wi-Fi icon. Then select Wi-Fi recommended. Tab Start Setup, and then Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. Now, select your network and tab on the Enter Password field. If your password contains upper or lower case letters, be sure to insert them in the correct case. The up arrow changes the case option. The Numbers icon enables the numbers to insert. You can tab here to add a space, and the backspace icon, to delete characters. Remember the password is case sensitive. Once you are done, press OK. Your printer is now connected to your network. Follow the rest of the instructions, on the computer screen. Since your printer is now connected to your preferred network, select the blue wireless image option which states your printer is connected. Once your computer has located your printer a green checkmark will appear to confirm. Soon after, click Next. Click Next again, to begin network installation then follow the on-screen instructions. Once the setup is completed, you will be asked to print a test page. This is recommended to do, this way you can verify the communication between the computer and the printer is good. Click on Print Test Page. Once the test page has been printed, select Next. Locate your ScreenMate film pack that came with your product. Notice that the product printing side has a matte finish. With the printing side facing up, set the film on the ScreenMate film guide. First in the two corners. Once set, Press in the center where the ScreenMate film guide has a double-sided tape. This will prevent the film from moving out. For the ET15000 SP, locate the rear tray on your printer and slide the edge guides. Insert the film with the printable side up. Filmmaker is only compatible with Windows and is a non-dongle software. First, visit www.catlink.com and access the product page. Click on Trial Download. Once downloaded, run it and will prepare the installation files. Select the software to install. XL is for units larger than 24 inches. DTP is for desktop printers. Select this one. Follow screen instructions to install the software.
it will let you know once finished. The registration window will prompt when you start up Filmmaker. An activation key will be sent by email. Select the option click here if you have a PIN number and you wish to activate. Add this key code, and complete the form and your software will be activated. Once your filmmaker starts for the first time, you will see a welcome window. Follow the steps to complete the setup. Select, print separations, and click next. The printer needs to be on, this way filmmaker can connect to it. In the printer selection, choose printer not found. From the printer list, click on your ET15000, and click Next. Change the printer resolution to 1200 by 1200. In the halftone screening, leave it as it is and click Next. Click Save to access the Print Density Test Page Wizard. The filmmaker shows the Density Page Wizard. On the ET15000, we need to set up the page size first. Close the wizard window, access the queue menu, and select properties. Under properties, open media setup. Click on the three dots to access the printer driver properties. Select your preferred paper source and the media size. Under paper type, select ultra premium photo paper glossy. Quality needs to be set to high. Click OK to save. Click OK to confirm. In the queue menu, select Ink Density Test Page. Once open, click and verify the printer's resolution. In this case, we choose the highest one, 1200 by 1200. Click OK to confirm. There are two test pages, low ink and high ink levels. For the ET15000 use the high ink level option. It will open 10 targets, numbered from 11 to 20. Select the file from the queue, and click on the printer icon to print it out. Once printed, select the target number that has a good density for your application. I select number 18, insert it here, and click Done. Your filmmaker is ready to print with the right density and quality. Let's print a sample file. Open your file. This will be printed with the saved settings we used before. Click on the print icon, and the file will be sent to the printer. Separate the film from the film guide once it's printed. You can use the film guide to print on new films.